There is one thing successful creative people do, and you should be doing it too. Wait till the end of this video to find out! Okay, you don't have to wait that long to find out. And I can tell you what the one thing definitely isn't. It isn't annoying people with clickbait editing and antsy editing for absolutely no reason. I don't know about you, but I find that really annoying. Okay, you don't have to wait that long. That seems a little ridiculous. And I can tell you what the one thing definitely isn't. It isn't annoying people with clickbait and antsy editing. I don't know about you, but I find that just way too much. It's like, it's okay, sweetie. Just calm down. Have a muffin. Pet a puppy. There is a lot of creative process advice floating around out there. And it's a lot to process, especially if you're new to the game or jumping back into it. So where do you start? Do you work 54 hours a day because hustling is the only way to make your mark? Or do you take a laissez-faire attitude because the muse works when it wants to and some days it's just like, nah. Regular working hours? Whenever you can squeeze it in? Do you work in pajamas? Tuxedo? Fancy dress? Semicolons or run-on sentences? Number two pencils or lightning from the heavens carved into stone? Rain boots or galoshes? Chocolate or cheese? Whew. I'm okay. I'm okay. It can be a little overwhelming. The main thing is to find your own path, but it's hard to do that when you're just getting started. Try a little of everything is the best way. One at a time. Give it a few weeks, see if it works for you. Move on to the next, if it doesn't. Speaking of improving, I am still improving at this YouTube thing. Maybe if I overdid the editing, no one would notice my shortcomings. Or I could just get to the point. I know that idea is out there, but stay with me. The advice I have today is not so much for those starting out, but for those who have already found their way, you're established, you're set, you are comfortable, and sometimes you even feel like you know what you're doing. You have found your creative groove. You are all set. You are going to hate this. The one thing you need to do is grow. Because guess what? It's not the end. The thing about a path is it tends to keep going. And even if the path ends, you don't. You take another road, even if you have to backtrack to do it. And then there's the usual metaphor about the path of life with the potholes and the ruts in the road and the dirt in your toes and and sometimes it's smooth going, but all this is all the way to your destination. Now let's picture that path. Maybe it's a cute little foot track in the woods. Maybe it's a highway through the desert. Maybe it's the yellow brick road. It's all up to you. You can look at it, see it stretching out before you. And that's the way you go, right? Now think about following a path, a road, in real life. That is right. I'm going to hammer this metaphor into the ground. Like, how often do you follow just the one road, the one path, going straight away? With no diversions, no detours, no GPS leading you in the wrong direction. Well, you don't do that very much. You take a right here. You take a left here. You stop at the gas station. You take a slight turn by the statue of the Civil War soldier who looks just as confused as you are right now. And then you arrive at your destination, except it's an empty lot, and you can see your destination past the empty lot a block away. Thanks, GPS. However, if you didn't do all those things, but just stayed on the same road and followed that, you would never get to where you should be. Your path is different than the path. You don't always have to follow it, and often you're better for it. Let me try to confuse what I mean. It's not just the potholes or pebbles that keep the road interesting. It is the detours. It is the detours. Sometimes you want to take another road. And since you're still moving, that road is also part of your path, but it's a different road. It's a different experience. It's different to move upon. There are different things to see. You're getting a different experience 
on that road, which is still part of your path. And that, in my typical roundabout way, is the whole point. Different experiences are good for us. They are good for us as people, and they also help us grow creatively. When we think of experiences that help us grow, we tend to think big. We tend to think dramatic like some thrill-seeking adventure or traveling across the oceans, staying with the monks in Tibet, we think big. And something that big can be daunting. So we never end up making that move. But a different experience doesn't have to be big. It just has to be different. You can start small and work your way up. And start by ordering a different drink at the place you always go to and then work your way up to attending that seminar. It doesn't have to be anything huge. The key thing is give yourself a little challenge and work your way, not not out of your comfort zone, but expand it. Some things you will never get comfortable with, and that's okay too. We all have different comfort levels. Like, I will probably never, ever, 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 ever go skydiving, and that is fine. We all start at different levels and we work at different rates. But life isn't long enough for us to try everything anyway. As long as you try something and keep trying and keep pushing, that's the point. And that's just talking on a life level, but let's refocus to talking about it creatively. As a creator, I look back on my early work and I cringe like so many of us do. I look at something I did 10 years later, and it's much better. And then I look at something 10 years after that. Okay, I'm getting old. And that has improved. But is it still where I want it to be? Heck no. So I keep trying to improve. I keep trying to grow. So be like me. Me, 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 me. I am perfect. <laughs> Heck no, no way am I saying that. Especially looking at my work thus far, and goodness knows what I will think of it in 10 years more time. But lately, I have been looking at my work with more of an objective eye and trying to push myself to make it better. I wasn't expecting to have to do that, but in my case, I realized that my work sometimes leans on particular outdated tropes that I'm not comfortable with using. They're tropes that I grew up with. They were in books that I grew up reading. They were you know, all around me. And when something is all around you, you tend to take it for granted that that's just the case. That's just how life is. Now, I didn't know that many people in real life. And I wasn't about to venture out of my comfort zone and like go to public forums and listen to people talk. So... I went on the internet, always dangerous, right? I went on the social medias, but this is one case where it was useful. I saw what people had to say on there in the public forum. I gave it consideration, and I realized that they had a point, at least coming from their point of view. And that is very important for a writer, because when you tell a story, you have the different characters, and what they're telling is true from their point of view. So that's something you have to be able to try and wrap your head around. So anyway, in my case, listening uh, to that worldview, it caused me to take another look at my work. And that's when I realized that I had these tropes proliferating throughout that I, locked within my own point of view, had not seen before. And I wasn't comfortable with that. I wasn't comfortable with having that in my work. Someone would read my work and think that that was a worldview that I was comfortable with. I, I wanted to learn from the experience and grow. I wanted to push myself and my writing to be better. So listening to others is fantastic, and it's one way to grow. Life experiences, it's a fantastic way to grow. Creatively, a great way to grow is to expand your horizons within your field. To come back to me, 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 I am sorry, but I'm the only one on this channel, so I'm my best immediate frame of reference. I am really, really bad at poetry. Like, I am good at rhyming. I'm really good at rhyming, 
but when it comes to free form poetry, I am, oh God, I'm so terrible at it. That is something that I might give a go. For me, that is a pretty big mountain to climb, so I'm probably not going to do that as my first creative venture, pushing myself, but even so, a mountain is just one step at a time. I also can't write romance, but that's a smaller hill to climb because I have had characters fall in love, so maybe I'll start there. It's okay to stay in your comfort zone while you try something new because the point is to expand the comfort zone, not to break it. But still, expand it. Even so, grow. Keep growing. It's an ongoing thing. It's a path, but the path is not leading to just one destination, artistically speaking. The path only ends when you do. And even though completing your work is great, it's not so much about completion, is it? It's about the process. It's about the journey. Even when you're done with one work, you start another. And journeys are more interesting <laughs> if you venture off the beaten path. Find your own way. Follow your own meandering road, and then you'll have more interesting stories to tell in whatever artistic style you tell them in. Just grow, learn, and don't ever stop. I'm so excited now. I'm going to go and follow my own advice. Maybe I'll look up a new recipe for dinner or something. It's small, but it's a start, and I will learn from it. You too! Go on, go, 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 grow, grow, grow. You can do it. I believe in you. Let me know in the comments what's new that you're trying or what you want to try, how you push your work to be better or how you want to push your work to be better, or if there's something holding you back. Or just say hi. I love to hear from you all. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creative endeavors to all. Bye. Dog, go lay down. Your toenails click too much. Okay, toenails, go lay down. Go lay down. Oh, you're so loud. Speaking of improving, I am still... I'm a dog. Now you're a dog. <laughs>